you need three things to install and run Motic on your own server. So the first one is your domain, of course. And I assume you have already at least one domain if you want to use Motic, because probably you already have a website or an online shop or whatever. So just use this domain and create a subdomain for Motic. So if you have one, that's fine. If you don't have one, you can host or register your domain at Namecheap or Route 53 or wherever you like. I like to use both of them. I like to use a few others as well. <laughs> so that's the first thing. The second thing is you need a server. And in my opinion, the best server you can use is Vulter.com. If you go to hardmood.io slash Vulter, you get a $100 credit <laughs> for the next, I don't know, year or so, which you can use. So uh, it's basically free to start there. So use this link, it's an affiliate link, so we get a small kickback if you use it. In my opinion, it's really easy to use, it's very nice. So if you want to use it, it looks like that. You go there like hardmode.io slash Volter and then it brings you back to the Volter website. And here you can register with your email address and password and create your account. As soon as you have your account, it looks like this so um, you can start adding a product here in the instances panel so you click on the plus deploy a new server and go to cloud compute and choose the server location you want to run the server from let's say seattle and then we go to Ubuntu because we are running our server on Ubuntu and this whole tutorial is for Ubuntu 2004 because it's a major release of Ubuntu. So I like to use this one. You can use any operating system you want, but I recommend Ubuntu. I recommend to take the four gigabyte memory machine, which is $20 per month, which would be five months totally free if you use the link below. It's also in the description. So if you use this one, $20 per month, four gigabytes of RAM, it is the recommended size for your machine to run Nautic. You can go with a smaller one, it's fine, but it works probably a little longer. And if you have more than, let's say 50,000 uh, people on your website each month, it can get a little slow. So I recommend you go with this one, then you have space to scale up. You can enable backups and DDoS protection and so on if you want to, and you need to add a SSH key to your machine to be able to SSH into the machine from your terminal or from PuTTY if you're on Windows. If you don't know how to create an SSH key, you can go here to add new and Look here at this wonderful tutorial from Vulta. They are describing how to generate and how to import an SSH key on their system. It's really easy, straightforward. And as soon as you have it, you can add it here. Then we add a server name just to recognize which server it is. If you're running five different servers, it's very handy to have it named. So you can name it here, let's say Mautic 4 and deploy now. Uh, it needs a little time to start up. Yes, and as soon as your server is running, you can connect the IP address with your domain or with your subdomain. So just click onto the IP address, then it's copied and switch to your DNS system of where you registered your domain and create a new record. So I'm here in root 53 and I'm on the hardmode.io domain and I will just call it m4. m4.hardmode.io, that's my domain, which I'm going to use for this Motic 4 installation. And here with value in the value field, I will just put in the IP address and it's an A record. So let's create. 
and that's it from this side so actually it's possible to open i will show you this to open here m4.hardmode.io and now it says this site can't be reached because on the server there is nothing to reach so it doesn't know what to do so it doesn't do anything so for that purpose we need a in star script and on our blog hardmode.io slash blog we created a modic for installation step-by-step -step tutorial so feel free to go there it's written in german but the code is obviously the code which you can use in any language <laughs> because it's for ubuntu so go there and copy paste line by line and this is what we are going to do now so let's put this to half of the monitor and open our terminal so if you are on mac you can just type terminal and this will open up if you're on linux as well if you're on windows you need to download a terminal software for windows the most common one is putty that's p-u-t-t-y so download putty there you can generate your ssh keys and you can ssh into every machine so get this one and then you can follow the tutorial from there so what we need to do is we need to copy paste this stuff into our server so obviously we need to connect to our server so let's go back here to our Vulter and open the server overview and in here we have our ip address we have the username and the password but we don't need username and password because we are going to ssh into the machine so we just copy the ip address and open our terminal and say ssh root because we are going to ssh as root and the ip address enter now it asks if we really want to connect so type yes enter and now the passphrase of your SSH key. Hope you type it right. Yes, this is correct. So I'm in my machine now. So I'm in there as root at Mautic4. If you're not root, you can say sudo minus i and then you're going to be root, which is nice because I wrote the whole tutorial without the sudo explanation in the beginning so if you want to use that you need to be root here so yes that's the thing and then we can go through here one by one so update the machine and update uh, ubuntu this takes a few minutes so walk through here yes as soon as this is done um, we're going to add software properties here and then we're going to install Apache and our MySQL client, which will be MariahDB. Jetzt wir bei diesen Dingen bitte immer tatsächlich einfach rausschneiden, weil es nicht notwendig ist, dass es gesehen wird. Yes, and then we're going to secure the MySQL installation here. Obviously, you need to replace this password before you put it in here. That's a mini script, so you don't need to walk through these steps. But please make sure to change this password before. So, because this one is very unsecure. So, and then we're going to add PHP 7.4 with all the necessary modules for Mautic. This takes a short time. You need to read this stuff in here because it says, yes, if you want to continue, click enter or press enter. So you need to press enter sometimes. And obviously it would be necessary that you really make sure everything installs correctly. So if there are some warnings or some failures during installation, you're going to read them. In the beginning, I made the mistake very often just to copy paste the stuff and I oversaw that there are uh, some problems in the installation process so and then I needed to do it twice or three times and then I started reading and there was a mistake so read it okay next one 
change the PHP standards. So from 128 megabyte uh, memory limit to uh, 2000 to two gigabyte, um, the max file size for uploading from two megabyte to 20 megabyte, max execution time from 30 seconds to 360 seconds, and the date and time zone, which is very important for Mautic or very convenient to have it set in Mautic correctly, um, is in my case, Europe Berlin. You can take whatever you want, just find on the PHP website how to state this correctly and put it here. So then you can take this and overwrite these values. And then we activate Apache on startup or on server boot. So every time your server gets rebooted because of an error or something, it starts automatically, which is nice. So you don't need to restart your server or your Apache server uh, manually. So, and then we are installing unzip because we want to unzip the zip package from Mautic. So we need to install this because it doesn't, is not shipped with Ubuntu. And then we're going to install certbot because we want to run Mautic with an SSL certificate. So we are going to install certbot and use the let's encrypt certificate. So let's do this. This takes a while. Yes, and after we did this, we can create our database. So we are entering MariahDB with this command, and then we create the database. I just call it Mautic, and I also call the user Mautic for convenience. You can take whatever you want, and the only thing you really should change is here the password from test1234 to whatever you want something which is a little bit more secure, I would recommend doing that. So let's put this in here and then we create a new folder where we put our Mautic installation. So we have this var www.html slash and then whatever your project is called. I call it M4 because of the domain name. So it's easy for me to recognize where my Mautic lies. And then we download the latest Mautic. So, so I have the Mautic version written here. So if you come later to this tutorial, you need to look up on GitHub, which Mautic version is the most uh, recent one and change the value here to this value, which is the current one then. Yes, this takes a little time, then it's extracting the archive and then we can delete the zip archive because we don't need any clutter on the website, uh, on the server. And after that, we create our virtual host file, which is necessary to tell the Apache server where to route the traffic. So if somebody comes to a domain name, which is routed to this server, we need to tell the server where to put these guys. So we put this in here. You can change the server admin email address and the document root, or you need to change the document root if you don't have this document root with M4. So you need to change this one. And the server name is your domain name, obviously. So you should change this as well. And here the directory as well. So as soon as this is fine, you can just save and close and then activate this website and activate the rewrite module for the Apache server and restart Apache. After you restart, that's pretty quick. After you restart, everything is routed correctly. And then we get the certificate. So with Certbot, we run this small piece of code and here you should put in your admin email address in case your certificate is not valid anymore. You get an email via Let's Encrypt or via Certbot to this email address. So please don't put mine in. Add your uh, email address where you want to have the warnings to and add, of course, the domain you want to have the certificate created for and put this in here. 
So it takes a little time. It asks if you want to subscribe to the newsletter. I just say no, thank you. I am subscribed already with like 500 email addresses there. And if you see the congratulations successfully en enabled line, then you know, yay, your thing is working. You can also put this test in here. So copy paste this line into your browser, then you can um, test if your certificate is valid. And then add read write rules to Mautic to this www data user and group that Mautic is able to write something on its own because otherwise it's not able to create the cache and therefore it's not able to run. So these rewrite rules are really important. Yes, as soon as this is finished, you can go to your browser and reload. So let's reload here. And if everything works, it should just point us to the, installer, to the installer of Mautic. And if you have any yellow recommendation windows, it means that you missed something from this tutorial. So go through it again. Actually, there shouldn't be anything missing. So yeah, make sure this works. So if you see this, click on next step, put in your database name, and username, password, test, one, two, three, four. Backup, no, because there are no tables, so we don't need a backup and create a database. After this, it asks me for a user. So this is my first user, which will be added to Mautic. So I will just call it admin and very difficult um, password, admin one, first name, admin, super cool and super cool at hardmode.io. This is the email address. And then you can configure your email and how the email should be handled. So you can skip this if you want. Obviously afterwards you need to configure it in the configuration inside of Mautic, but this is another tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you want to see this tutorial. If yes, I can create one. So just let me know. And if you did everything right, you can just log in to your brand new Mautic installation and see your dashboard and see the warning that you took a very weak password. <laughs> so if you did everything like I showed it here in this tutorial, it should work. Please let me know if you have a particular wish, write it into the comments of this video. Let me know in the comments of this video and with liking the video that you really want to see more English videos so we can consider creating an English channel specialized on Mautic content and automation. So yeah, let me know, like the video, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next one.